All right, so I just made a comment here. Hello world with parcel, because this is the one that you're gonna have on the course description. And I just realized that I, I didn't include the cache or the dist on the git ignore. So I'm uploading that to GitHub. You can just change it by doing uh, that cache and uh, dist. All right, so now this is gonna get out of our git commits, which is gonna is gonna be all right. Perfect. Okay, so we have cache this. It should be okay. It should be okay. All right, so let's do the first two. React and ES6 with Babel. Okay, so here what we need to do is that we need to uh, first of all render a component second of all call it with react and third render it with um react dom so i'm going to create a new folder src and i'm going to create index file app.js all right in app.js i'm going to make import react from react app let's just make a shitty component all right and now from index we need to call it but first i need to import react from react again i'm going to import react dom from react dom perf i mean and i'm going to import app from src all right and now i'm going to react dom that render and i'm going to render app and document i'm going to render it on the root i don't have a root i'm going to uh, call this fuck i don't know, react or app all right and i'm going to render in render it inside of app get element by id app lovely okay so now if i come here we have an issue and it says unexpected token it doesn't understand what is this and this is because we are not transforming the code just yet we need to transform it so that's why we downloaded Babel. if you remember Babel will translate your new code such as this one into normal javascript okay and Babel is super simple to configure like really super simple all we need to do is create a new file call it Babel rc that's how easy it is boom and now inside of Babel RC, we need to say what presets do we want. These are the ones that we have installed previously. The one I want is env, which is the one I already installed, and react. Perfect. That's it. So now I'm going to kill this thing, and I'm going to start yarn again. It builds everything, and now it says cannot resolve dependency src. What? src. and fuck it up i think better src up yeah i'm sorry that was the mistake all right so now if we go back to our google chrome and we refresh uh it says something about the connection but don't worry about this this is easy to troubleshoot we're gonna come here we're going to kill it and we're gonna start again now i refresh and now it says la 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 la, la. it means that it is actually rendering my React.js app. This is how easy it is. It's ridiculously simple. If you had like Webpack or something like that, you will have to do Babel and you will have to do other stuff and you will have to detect the JS files and you will have to do everything. Parcel is doing everything for you. Parcel is saying this guy has a Babel RC and he also has JavaScript files. So it means that he wants to transform the JavaScript files with the Babel RC configuration. That's it. So he's going, he's assuming everything and he's just doing it for you. That's amazing. Okay, so done. That's it. React is finished. And ES6 with Babel is also finished. Perfect. As you can see, super fucking simple. All right, my people. Now I'm going to see what the deal is with the git ignore because catch 
it should be ignored and also this should be ignored i think i'll have to delete the cache later so yep i will see you on the next one that was super fast on the next one we're gonna do css and css modules bye bye